Alrighty, uh, pig hunt is two Wednesdays away from departure. Got the all new Black Widow PLC in. It's a mighty sharp looking bow. It's shooting great. The arrow setup's actually a little lighter than normal. It's like 550 grains, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So we're gonna shoot the stump right uh, there. Still nice and quiet. And I'm shooting it quite well, or at least I think so. Good group, great arrow flight. Uh, for those who care, it is a 64 inch bow. It is 56 at 29, which is my draw length. So it is quite peppy. Got the beaver tail. It is a two piece, so it splits apart with the tenon system underneath that grip. Like always, custom Great Northern Quiver. I don't know if you can see the inscription there on the back, but uh, good stuff. All right, the stuff I'm shooting at's in here. I came up over the ridge and the lackluster of stumps for the amount of energy spent getting up here, but so we'll shoot our way back down. First one kind of grazed off the right side. That one hit it. Just underneath it. Given the distance, I'm not terribly mad at that. That one bounced off the side. These two are okay. All right, so actual setup for the pig hunt. Sorry, it's warm. It is like the nicest day we've had for quite a while. Uh, Said Bose 56 at 29, shooting a Zwicky Delta that is adapted to 200 grains. I have a standard insert, one of my footers I make, and then it's a full length Easton Axis 400. So comes in around 550. It shoots out of this bow pretty quick, but extremely well. We'll try to. We're stump in this area. Right there. It took a few days to get used to the grip because I've been shooting recurves a lot, but now that I'm used to it, it just feels right. Super quiet. Super, ac super accurate. I got the carbon because uh, I'll feel a little less bad about scratching it. All right, this is a long bomb going for that stump right there. I'm gonna try to shoot the upper half, which is like, I don't know, three, four inches. And then it really thins out at the top. It's a broadhead. I've shot a lot today. I'm feeling it. All just to the left. 
clearly I need more cardio. So we're gonna shoot this stump, I believe is right there up this little side hill and make myself walk up that hill. There's a lot of junk in the way. Oh, literally hit the spot I was looking at. I hope you guys will be able to see that arrow flight. Just a little bit to the right. That stump is uh, very, so very hard. Went three for three. Now I'm gonna walk up that. Lots of deer tracks. Must be some decent food. It's been an extremely mild winter here in Vermont. I work for the town and I think we've only plowed a couple times that actually seemed worthwhile. The other two didn't stick, but I was shooting right for that leaf, so that was a really good shot. All right, this is a pretty close shot going for that guy right there. I'm assuming it's going to be a really hard stump, so uh, I may just take one. Got deflected. See if I can weave one in a different way. Get super off balance here. Yeah, pretty hard, but we hit stump near where I wanted to, so, you know, if it was a pig, it'd be dead. All right, to challenge myself a little bit, this stump right there, I'm gonna lean forward and not get horizontal with the ground, I mean, maybe, but just gonna get real low. Hit it on the first try. Two for two. I'm gonna try to hit the top third to hopefully not break the arrow that's hanging in at a 45 now. Oh, just over the top. That's the type of stuff though that I feel people don't practice enough because if your goal is hunting at the end of the day, uh, standing perpendicular broadside to the target is probably the uh, last thing you're going to be in. All right, I'm going to film my descent here because on the off chance I biff it, it'll be funny. And uh, it is extremely slick and uh, treacherous. Sorry for the weird camera angle. Not my primary focus for this uh, departure. Ugh. The snow has the right level of packiness where it does help. There is a moment of, uh, oh crap, every time you take a step. Cane work boots. Favorite boot of all time. Probably gonna be in the Georgia swamps with me. All right. All right, we made it. I don't know if it looks steeper down here, but it's pretty brutal. That's one reason I tend to stay in the creek bottom when I do these. Well, it's been a fun time down here. I'm gonna shoot this tall stump over here. Uh, probably the closest shot I've taken the whole time. Most reasonable shot, but hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, it's kind of an impromptu round of stump shooting. It was just too nice out to let the day slip away, so. I hadn't showed you guys the new PL for the most part, so figured you guys would wanna see it. See what happens.
I can tell I get tired. I get a little jerkier. Still shoot good, but not quite as controlled as I would like. Not too shabby. All right, I lied. We're gonna shoot this giant root ball right here. It is a far shot. The daylight might be good where the arrow flight comes in. It might not be. There's a lot of junk in the way, so these arrows may end up not near the root ball. One for one. I figured the distance might get me up and over the junk, and it did. Two for two. These are uh, bear paw feathers, which I've actually had really good luck with. The issue is uh, my 3D target is shot out, and the horse mat is getting in rough shape, so horse mat tears feathers up pretty bad. All right, final shot. Three for three at distance of far, I don't know, 60 yards, 70 yards, I have no idea. But on that note, pig hunt, I leave on February 14th. There is one more Sunday, which is my stumping day usually. Uh, so I may try to get out again and do another video before I leave, but Black Widow PL, 56 at 29, east and axis 400s. Standard insert footer, 200 grain Zwicky Delta on the front. By the way, Zwicky's gone way up in quality in this last batch I got, so optimistic there. And uh, yeah, see what happens down in Georgia. I'm going to do my best to film some, so till next time.